Elio guys and welcome back. Welcome to the next character analysis video. Here we have Dice. He is a supporter and mainly it looks like his basic attack and skill attack scales off of his physical defense first, then his attack and then his magical defense just just a tad. Just a tad. So mainly build him for defense, get him in with some attack in there if you can and then I wouldn't worry too much about the magical defense because it doesn't really cut too much into anything let's take a look at his three costumes um he's a pretty cool looking character I would say definitely say that he looks cool but the devs ain't showing him no love dude how come all the waifus got like eight costumes but this dude has like nothing what is going on here oh his cube does change as well the glove changes too impressive impressive let's check up take a look at his equipment however so his suggested equipment is flash of light and then salvation dragon knight and that adds magical defense and physical defense I don't I think it does more magical defense than physical but he does scale off physical more but I mean it's pretty it's pretty equal so I mean I could see why they're recommending that and then his tier six set. Wrong one. It's about the same thing. It gives all defense and then also gives his attack, which in my opinion, obviously if you could pull this, this would be more optimal than the tier four set. But again, that is RNG based, so I can't really go too much detail about that. And let's take a look at his tier six uh, exclusive weapon. So this one boosts his magical defense, magical attack, physical defense, and then all defense. Again, he gets majority of his attack from his physical defense, and then a little bit from his magical, and then his attack as well, but it has everything that he needs on it. And then his skill is possibility upon using active good luck buddy, which I'm assuming is one of his skills, ally with the lowest HP, two units, or I'm not really sure what the two unit means, but it, they receive HP recovery uh, by 10% of their HP with a 30 second cooldown. So not too bad. I mean, not the best thing in the world because that cooldown 30 seconds is a while, but not too shabby. Just not impressive either. Let's take a look at his skills. So his ultimate is all in. Restores HP of the allies within a range in proportion to the accumulated dice's number. If the number of dice are stacked to the maximum, he can damage enemies within the range. So this has a RNG offset of, hey, if you can somehow line everything up, the enemies will also take damage as well, I'm assuming. And then self and allies get HP recovery, which goes up as he levels up per stack, which uh, I'm assuming gives a bonus. I'm not really sure how the stacks work. Maybe they come from another skill before he does this one. We'll have to see. And then if he hits his max stacks quota, he also damages the enemy. So this is healing with some DPS added in there as well. If, if you can roll the right ones. Hence the name Dice. Alright, so the second skill that also coincides with his exclusive weapon. Good luck buddy with a 12 second cooldown. I forgot the cooldown of that one's 18 seconds but uh that one's 12 seconds for good luck buddy helps allies and damages enemies within a certain range around the target position once again it goes with an exclusive weapon as well so every three times he does his move whoever has the lowest hp will also get a bonus hp recovery of 10 percent if the skill hits them or doesn't hit them but this one creates a barrier around everyone for eight percent of their hp which goes up as we level it up, which could actually be quite very, quite very helpful. And it has a three second cooldown on it. Then the HP recovery also goes up. It damages the enemies. Then it nerfs their attack temporarily for five seconds. And it also boosts everyone's movement speed. Well, not everyone, but it boosts Dice's movement speed for five seconds as well. So the more we level it, the more barrier, the more HP recovery, the more damage it does. The more it decreases the attack of the enemy for 5 seconds and the higher the movement speed for dice. And then his last one is shoot and roll which has a 3 second cooldown. By throwing a dice he restores the HP of allies within range. Also accumulates the number from 1 to 6. 
and then this is the move that adds stacks so shoot and roll needs to be performed I'm assuming multiple times before you pop his ult or you're kind of wasting the ult because the more stacks you have the more HP it does heal and you do have that uh, chance to damage enemies as well so please keep that in mind and the more we level it the more HP recovery uh, self or ally gets maybe I'm assuming it's directional like maybe you throw the dice to them and if it hits them it'll heal them not 100% sure but his first passive uh, increases his skill healing amount which is always important especially for a healer the next one boosts his defense for crit damage and then boosts his physical defense which is great because again most of his attack skills from off of his physical defense and the last one boosts everyone's HP and everyone's defense pretty solid pretty solid so the first trait is the die is cast it has a 50 second cooldown oh my god that is just awful so whoever has an HP decrease that's you know more than 50% of their max HP the hero with the lowest HP will receive a HP recovery of 20% in theory that sounds great but this cooldown should be maybe 30 seconds max if it's gonna be like this and 20% I mean in theory if they hit 50% that could get them back up to 70% but if we're gonna have a 50 second cooldown just make it like 30 35% HP recovery I mean even 30 would be enough in my opinion to kind of offset this super duper long cooldown but that's not very desirable and then the next one dice fury uh, no full no game with a 15 second cooldown Upon attacking enemies, he gathers 15 points, and once the Fury hits 100, self and allies get HP recovery of 15% with a 15 second cooldown. So this this trait is more like it. This trait is more like it. So maybe the first trait is more emergency wise, like if a tank takes a nasty hit or someone takes a nasty hit, it can kind of boost them up, but not very reliable. But this one seems a lot more re reliable than anything else, especially with a 15 second HP recovery. For self and allies, I'm assuming if they're near him with a 15 second cooldown, hey man, on top of his other moves healing as well, and maybe like another supporter, sounds, sounds legit, but let's see him in combat. So let's try his roll move first, which goes a pretty, this pretty good distance and yeah it is range so we have to aim the, the dice to wh whoever that we're trying to heal and then we can see the stacks right there below so so far I, I have four then I roll a six so I got a ten and we can do this as much as you want the only issue I see right here though is that it would be a gamble because if you need to get heals off then and there this could be problematic because if you're not rolling you know lovely six is it's going to take forever for you to hit 30 if you're trying to get that damage bonus in so that could make maybe like a pvp situation hit or miss but we do have that to 30 now his regular move is just him throwing a card out for his basic attack and then his second move he throws coins out and it boosts his movement speed and that one also nerfs the uh, enemy's attack and then creates a barrier and I think something else oh yeah HP recovery yep barrier created so we can see that barrier right there didn't last for too long but there is a barrier there and that will increase in time Let's see if we can hit them, hit these dudes okay so that move does do damage I don't I don't believe the dice move the third skill does any damage to them but let's go over here and see this ult. Oh. Well, they're dead now. It was very, I don't know, I wouldn't say lackluster, but it was very subtle. Like, I was just like, did something happen? A whole bunch of coins came out, or poker chips, and then it was like, we're done, man. We're done, but that's pretty much dice. Um, at least on paper, he seems like he's a very, very good candidate as a good healer.
but again he is RNG based and I do believe maybe he had a nerf not too long ago so I'm not really sure if his heals can crit I'm not even sure if heals crit at all in this game some games it does some games it don't but if you pick dice I mean obviously you're taking a gamble but uh, he seems pretty cool it's nice to have a healer that's not as traditional as Lee but you just got to keep in mind that you know know what you're getting yourself into and um that's pretty much it for this character analysis video uh thank you guys for watching and peace out